This is Luo Apex TV. Welcome. This is the work of cabinet. The cabinet work. Collective responsibility. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, why are you so much interested in who done this, who did that? You read the paper. By the time you finish reading the pamphlet, you will find the solution. Hey there, it's good to see you here again. Today we are going to discuss about Tom Boya assassination. And also showing how these per capita incomes in the developed countries have been going up. First of all let's have a look at Tom Boya biography. Just grab a sit and enjoy the show, welcome. Tom Boya was born on the 15th of August 1930. He was a Kenyan trade unionist, educator, pan-Africanist, author, independence activist and statesman. He was one of the founding fathers of the Republic of Kenya. He led the negotiations for Kenya's independence at the Lancaster House Conferences. He was also instrumental in the formation of Kenya's Independence Party, the Kenya African National Union, KANU, where he served as its first Secretary General. Tom Boyer laid the foundation for Kenya's capitalist and mixed economy policies at the height of the Cold War and set up several of the country's key labor institutions. His intelligence, charm, leadership, and oratory skills won him admiration from all over the world. He gave speeches, participated in debates and interviews across the world in favor of Kenya's independence from British colonial rule. He also spoke at several rallies in the goodwill of the civil rights movement in the United States. In 1958, at the age of 28, Boyer was elected conference chairman at the All African People's Conference convened by Ghana's first president, Mr. Kwame Nkrumah. He helped build to the trade union movement in Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania, as well as across Africa. He also served as the Africa representative to the International Confederation of Free Trade Unions, ICFTU. Boyer worked with both the 35th President of the United States of America, John F. Kennedy and Martin Luther King Jr. to create educational opportunities for African students, an effort that resulted in the Kennedy airlifts of the 1960s enabling East African S. Notable beneficiaries of this airlift include Wangari Mathai, the first African woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize and Barack Obama Sr., the father of Barack Obama, the 44th U.S. President. In 1960, Boyer was the first Kenyan to be featured on the front page cover of Time magazine in a painting by Bernard Safran. Who killed Tom Boyer? Charles Wangi shared what he witnessed. In 1960-1970, 